Forces in Yemen have apprehended a suspected al-Qaeda-linked terrorist whose name might ring a bell with U.S. authorities. National correspondent Catherine Harridge joins me now with details. Good evening, Catherine. Yeah, thank you, Brett. A many source with first-hand knowledge of the arrest tells Fox the Saudi-born national has been picked up as part of a larger roundup of operatives who are connected to al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. The suspect is identified to Fox as Jabir Jibran Ali al-Faifi. According to Defense Department documents, he was detainee number 188, one of a large group which arrived at Guantanamo early where we believe this picture on the right was taken. The orange jumpsuits wore, were worn at Camp X-ray. Now, Faithy was transferred from the Guantanamo Bay detention camps to Saudi Arabia in late 2006 under the Bush administration after a lengthy review and as part of a series of test cases to assess whether the rehabilitation program in the Saudi Kingdom worked. He's now facing conspiracy charges, including aiding and abetting terrorism. A senior official who was part of Faithy's review says we may now learn whether Yemen is committed to cracking down on Al Qaeda and its affiliates. This is a great test case to weigh whether the government of Yemen is actually serious uh, in their efforts in de-radicalization and counterterrorism. Half of the detainees left at Guantanamo are from Yemen, so the question, according to analysts, is whether the Yemeni government can be trusted to prosecute them in a meaningful way if those detainees are sent home. In the USS Cole case, a key planner was prosecuted and convicted in Yemen, but he only served two years of a life sentence. And right now, Yemen is the hiding place for Anwar al-Awlaki, who is the first American on the CIA's kill or capture list. Brett. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome. NATO says coalition